many cars that make me feel this way. Don't you feel like I just want to drop my pants and be like, why, why do I exist? Does that make any sense? No. But this doesn't make any sense either. All right? I don't understand. Why have all cars you could have added on a pretty not massively sized car list, you had any choices in the world, you had this. Now I know you want to cover all the bases you possibly can, but this. How do you think the board meeting went? Hello, I would like to add the build of the I What do you mean you want to add the build of the I I want to add the build of the I Now before my Sony contacts are revoked, let's have a look at some of this, this choicing here. So I think... The orange, I've never seen it in the orange. I only ever see it in the white or the blue. The blue is a popular color, right? It's, it's not in here. Why, why not the i8? Is the i8 in here? I don't know, I don't like that anyway. But am I stupid for buying this? Yes, I'm buying it for 50,000 credits. Why? Because I'm. I, I, I want to show you that uh, maybe this thing's good. Maybe, maybe I'm just totally wrong. Yes, I want to drive this car now. It's a GRX class. GRX, I, I think that's the same as the golf cart. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, if you do the online racing etiquette, you get a golf cart. It's the same class. I have bonuses. Let's have a look. Oh, buying some cars. Got some mileage points and some XP. Now, uh, I, I, I pretty much have done a lot of these, these challenges now. And the mileage points are racking up. For the most part, I don't think there's anything I particularly want to buy in here. Other than the BMW M4, I think is probably my next target in here. And to buy all of the wheels, which isn't very hard. I've got to buy three more sets, I think it is. And as for the colors, we've got all the good ones. The one I was actually quite interested in is the B7 Large Flakes. It's actually flakes. Oh, wait. If you look right at the bottom, it says right there. That, that's when the store lineup changes. So maybe on the 24th is the deadline to buy all of these. So we need to get on it. One massive thing I would love to see in this game is a big kind of open track. Like there is a force where you can prattle about and try things. In this game, there isn't really anything other bigger than the Nurburg. The Nurburg's obviously the biggest track. There's no big area to kind of prat around in. Now, uh, I think I'm just going to go on Blue Moon Speedway. I don't think I've actually been on this track. And we'll go in the afternoon. The peak of the sun. Go on, let's have a listen. Oh, it's just going to do electric sounds. <laughs> it's a stupid car. I'm going to do stupid stuff with it. We're going to turn off the traction control. Uh, I want to turn everything off. Braking indicator off. Stability management off. Everything off. If I call the pack, I mean the battery. Because, oh my god, this is actually... Honestly, doing, turning off traction control and stuff doesn't do anything. I started rolling at 90-something miles an hour, and I think that's my top speed. I think I was supposed to start rolling faster. It's flashing as if it wants to go faster. This is stupid. Oh, look, a plane. These city cars are becoming more and more popular in the UK, especially this one. And the Volkswagen up. Understeering piece. Oh, we got a bit of a sway on. Here we go. Oh, drifting. Oh, i3 drifting. Would you look at that? Done some pure sky. Right, this is actually quite a fun car. One thing I wanted to check. Oh. Oh. We can upgrade this. Mod current modification range is 141 to 195. So the car's actually level, I believe. And that's the top level is 195. I'm guessing it's maybe at the base, 141. For some reason, after leveling up, it can actually be slower, which is kind of strange. But there's two things we can upgrade. The power level and the weight. We can reduce the weight. Wait, that... This is really bizarre. In some cases, it actually increases the weight. I guess for balancing in races, it kind of needs to do that, right? Anyway, let's jump in and do some power. So 288 mileage points are going to level this thing up. And we can go to another level, which is going to cost what? Yes, we can afford that. And that makes it go from 117 to 221, from 117 to... Ah, what? Can't change the weight, unfortunately. But uh, if we go into drift... Can we actually put it into drift mode? What's, what's the main difference is here? 95 was pretty much my permanent speed last time. Is it going to increase any of I just wasted all my mileage points that I could have used to get some standing emotes like this? I don't care how dramatic your music is. You cannot make this thing seem cooler. It's still stuck. Can we... Can we mod, can we customize the gearing at all? Because I swear this could go faster. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. You actually increase the power level yourself and the weight reduction ratio. That increases the weight. This decreases the weight. Perfect. That's how they balance the cars online and stuff. Oh, I'm such a fool. Okay. So we've got the performance increase now. Traction control off. Let's let's see. Sports, racing. Let's do racing hard. We have aerodynamics, differential gear, normal. Can we? We can't. Probably we can't tune the gears because of the fact that this thing is. Oh yeah, we can't. Because <laughs> there's, there's only one gear. Ninety six. 
is, st is still topping out. We've got one miles an hour more. Can you believe it? If the gearing was tuned right, I could do so much more because it's sticking at 95. I cannot go any higher than this. It's just blipping out. Can I get some skids on now? Now that we've changed the tires and all. Oh, I don't remember what the handbrake is. Oh, oh, we're sn oh, Woo! power, 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 power. Oh, no, we lost. I take it back. This thing's pretty fun. Is it rear wheel drive? I swear this thing is front wheel drive. I genuinely thought this thing was front wheel drive. It's just one of those cars that you'd expect to be. Look at that. We can get some like stand. We can do some Ken block skids. Did that song just swear. I think the song just swore. Oh, I ain't, you know what? This, this car, I was wrong about it. It needs, it needs a special color as well. I wonder if we can change the wheels as well, because that would be awesome. So go to the decals. No, not the decals. I actually want to try the decals because they have yet to actually properly try that. So first things first, paint. We're going to go with the special paint, special colors, chrome gold. <laughs> now that, that is an i3. I like it. Oh, we can change the color of the wheels too. We can make the, oh, that is awesome. I'm liking that. That's beautiful. Now, I want to change the wheels now. I'm probably going to change back to a standard color. The only ones we can actually fit are those. But those are a bit more pimping. Oh, wait. We can increase the size? Oh, those those fit great. I didn't know you could actually change the, the dimensions of the wheels as well. Now, back to the paint. I actually kind of liked the color that we had on there. So if we go, oh my god, if we go with like a full chrome car, that looks ridiculous, but so does that. Driver numbers, I haven't shown this yet. I didn't even know it was an actual thing. You can put a driver number on your car to kind of, if we were doing like a knobheads tournament race series, which we probably will at some point, we can definitely use these. They look actually really, really cool. I like that style there. And um, <coughs> window banner. Oh, oh, the number's there too. Awesome. What can we put on the window banner? Do we, have, do we does it just say Gran Turismo on it? Yeah, it does. There's nothing we could change about that. I'm going to remove that. Ha -ha, look at that. Shame I can't change my damn PSN. I should be able to change my PSN. I'm going to keep that on there though. Light covers. You can change the light covers? I'm, I'm not on this car, obviously, because it just said no, but I didn't know you could do that. Uh, camera rotation horizontal. This is just like settings, settings. I haven't been through all of these, but oh, hello. So these are... So oh, IGN has stickers and stuff in here? Uni lad game, for God's sake. All people, where's the Black Pants logo? There should not be a Uni lad gaming logo in here. Oh my God. I, I, down points already for the review. Down point. I'm not doing one. Is that MTV's new logo? I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put a PlayStation Access logo on my car. Look at that. It's an, oh, I like this. This is in, this is beautiful. This this handles smooth. Shout out to the lads at PS Access. Beautiful, I love it. Anyway, soon we can add our own stickers in. You can add yours in as well, so I'm looking forward to that. But let's save that and we'll call it Y. I'm uploading this one. I don't, I don't know if you guys can actually download it because of the color, but surely you can download everything else. The 69 is quite a meme-ish, if I do say so much. That looks good. That, look, that looks amazing. Don't care. Okay, let's jump out of this then, and let's go straight into a drift trial. It's going to set a car into a proper drift mode, and I think one of the best tracks to do that on, it was probably going to be an off-road track. For a front-wheel drive car, surely off-road would kick up a little bit more. So let's go to... This one, I don't know what half of these places are. Let's go in the evening. Nice, a little bit cool temperatures. Make the dirt cool. Where's my car gone? Can't drift from wheel drive car. That's plagiarism. Plagiarism? That's selectiz selectivism. Disgusting. My car looks horrible. Start a time trial and my car's not there either. What? Can I not use, oh, maybe I can't do the off-road track. So maybe I can do drifting. There it is. So it, it, it just can't be used off-road for some reason. That's interesting. I thought every car would be able to use everywhere. Oh, play, rep in PS Access. Those wheels look amazing. If the grill was the same color and like the little blue accents around the BMW, that would be pretty pretty nice. I, I would buy an i3 if they made that. Increase the max power, decrease the weight. And I'm not exactly sure what tires it's best. A dry weather tires. Da, 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 da. What what would be head, like the best for drifting? Brain just tells me like hard tires would be the best to lose slip. For grip, it would be soft, right? And you'd need a balance that's like medium. But I I don't know. We could also do the ride height tuning and stuff. Uh, let's just decrease the ride height. That's probably going to help us a little bit, but not massively. We could do all the stuff, but. I'm lazy and no transmission stuff. All right, we're actually in drift mode. That's why we can choose a bit more. I like it. Okay. The color looks disgusting. I don't care, but let's get my skid on. Oh, we spat. Oh, look at this. 
If I could just pull it back and not go off, I, I can master this. I, I tell you, a bit of practice, and I'm going. I'm going for gold. You get it, gold, because Mikal's gold. Oh, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. It's just going straight sideways. No, 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 no. Oh! I keep mentioning this is front wheel drive throughout the video. I just realised I called it. Oh yeah, you can't go in this because it's front wheel drive. It's not because it's front wheel drive. It's because ah. it's a rear wheel drive car. I think. I haven't. I should have read it when I was in the menu, but it looks. I mean, the way it handles, you'd imagine it is it's rear wheel because it handles pretty well. It's drifting pretty well, so. But electric cars are supposed to have like instant torque. This thing has no. Is it all wheel drive? It might be all. The rear wheels have more power though, definitely. You can just feel it. It just spins when you first kick it off. Look. <laughs> Finish. Sixty nine points. Get it? I wasn't even trying that. Try and top that. Get an i3 and try and that should be the next challenge. The best score, drift score in GT, having a BMW i3. You, I've, I'm bringing up some amazing ideas. Amazing, don't lose them. Oh, hold, 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 hold. Oh, 1,900. Take that, take it. Going into drift mode definitely has helped me be able to drift this a little bit better. Oh, she's, she's a bit bitey, hello. We just got ourselves up to 3,300 BMW i3 drifting. I keep wanting to say i8, but oh, now I'm going to lose this one. It, 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 it's just so slippery. The tires were not a good choice. Finish with 3,300 points. Give me some money for that. Thank you. Give me some claps or something. Oh, thank you. I actually got a bit of money. I didn't know if I was actually going to get money from that. But I think the reason they added this car into the game is just to have low-end racing along with high-end racing. That looks so cool. Oh my god, one thing that's kind of bugging me a little bit is in the window of the cars that you can see through, the motion blur doesn't actually come through. So it looks a bit dodgy. I definitely want to do more stupid videos like this with any stupid cars you want me to try. I'm definitely going to try it. As many cars as I possibly can on this game. I'm having a lot of fun playing GT Sport. It's been a long time since I thoroughly enjoyed a proper track racer. The way it just slams down when I put on the power, you can see. That's ridiculous. Anyway, be sure to smash like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next episode or video, depending on what it is. I don't know what it's going to be. Peace!